We're Will and Jen, and this is our dog, Tucker. In our last episode, we arrived at the Alliance RV headquarters in Elkhart, Indiana, to watch our new fifth wheel being built. When we got there, our RV was just the chassis, but within a few days, they added flooring, electrical, cabinets, walls, and a roof. Follow along in this video as we watch the rest of our fifth wheel come together and unfortunately deal with a problem that we really hadn't planned for. So, and mm -hmm. like I, I was asking Will, I was like, how do they even fix that? Good morning guys, it is day three of our RV build. So I'm so excited because they say it takes about three and a half days to for, you know, from chassis start all the way through to PDI. So today things should really be coming along. I'm by myself for this morning check-in. Today is Wednesday and Jen has to get today's video up like in, in real time. So I told her to stay back, just focus on getting that done. And I'll just do a quick update. And then um, when she gets back, we'll go through it a little bit more, maybe uh, late morning, early afternoon. All right, here it is this morning. So you can see that um, they, they got it around the scaffolding. And um, it looks like they're getting the front cap on, that roof. And, um, you know, that's why it's under the scaffolding. It's definitely coming around. They got the insulation up. It's getting ready for the slides. Wow, the kitchen's really coming together. Windows are in, or some of them are in, yeah. No, all of them are in except for the slides. That's awesome. Sidewalls are looking good. Slide stuff is starting to go up, like the seals and all that. Auto leveling controls are in. This might be hard to see, but we did upgrade the solar package. So they got the three lithium batteries in there. I am so excited for that. So they're sanding the roof as well right now. I don't know what the purpose of that, probably to get the glue to stick better when they put the, um, the actual PVC roofing membrane on. The wood has gone up, but the PVC membrane has not yet. So it looks like that'll be coming soon though. They have made some progress today. Right. The front cap is on. They did a good job redesigning the front cap, yeah. don't you think? Just the whole color scheme and everything. Yeah. Oh, and the slides are in, well. They are? Are they in when you were here? No. Yeah, slides are in. Yeah, this is looking Order. almost done, honestly. So, that is so cool. Looks like they're still working in it right now. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I just didn't notice this when we saw it last time, but I love how this is like a really light gray. Yeah, it's not white. white. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is on too. Yeah. I like that. It's like just a little bit of contrast. Yeah. yeah. Was the ladder on when you were here? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, there's no. Like knowing that the other day was just it's just like the chassis yeah. and then it's just like now it's got that slides click. coming out right. right like you hear how long when they say how long it takes but you don't truly really appreciate i know how you much really don't that goes into it in such a short time right this is the slide that will make our bedroom and bathroom yes that's really the nice. slide that we like needed yeah stuff set up for the is that oh so it's prep for slide toppers yeah yeah and the awning too hopefully we can get slide toppers soon yeah. that's like one thing i want to do right away if possible so. yeah so the crazy thing is, is as, as far as it is done it's just been like 20 something steps in the process and at every spot they basically show like how many steps are left so as you can see that's step eight here's seven and that's six so it just shows that even at this stage there's still seven steps left and what did he say there was like 22 there's, or something yeah there's like 20 so something it's about a third of the way done yeah, yeah. so yeah, you're right you're right so it's still like got you know at the end it's like all the finishing touches, yeah so. for sure here it is inside oh my god this is so weird isn't it there's it really oven. is this is our new home right so it's kind of dark in here it is but there's our oven well look how nice that is that. This and is the, like couches. I don't know which is which. Well, I know that one's probably the theater seat. Do you like this kitchen size still? Oh, oh yeah. Right. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Hey. Got the lights Can we do it right here? No, I'm okay. going to take these shelves down, put new ones up. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll stay out of your guys' way. It's looking so good though. Yeah. It's just crazy how fast they come together. 
It don't take too many days. That's no. Two days and it's at the door and then the third yeah. day should be out of PDI. Yep. Ready for delivery. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's crazy. You guys work fast. Well, thank you. Well, right, the first time. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's your bedroom here. It's so crazy to see it all together. This will be our dresser. TV will be there. And here's that beautiful front bath. This is what I'm probably most excited about. Huge closet. This is what we were kind of lacking in our last one. And what we really wanted to upgrade was to get a bigger bathroom. So I think we were definitely checking that box. Look at the shower right now. Yeah, look at the wingspan. Right. So a lot bigger than our last one. I think you'll like it well. Okay. This will be so much better. Yeah. Like, honestly, the avenue wasn't bad. Just so much room here. I love yeah. this. This, true, it's probably this here, and that is why we bought this. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's why we upgraded. I mean, other things, the washer dryer, the bigger closet. Yeah, but this is what we were really, like, missing. Yeah. Right? All right, you want to get out of the yeah, way Yeah, we'll now? get out of their <laughs> way now. I just have to say, everyone at Alliance is so nice. I know. Like, we're we were totally in their way. We were totally in their way, but they're just, like, so just easy going and right. super nice and they're like just let us know well if we're in your way I'm like no i'm in your way right now so i just the community the like the employees at alliance just feels like a good community and everyone has a great attitude and work ethic and everything which i love let america say hi to tucker oh tucker what you doing you got to call mommy and daddy today didn't you finally i want to see the new rv we would take him in, but there's just too much like on the floor and stuff there that you can hurt his paw. They do a good job. Like every stage, you can tell where they clean up, but like inevitably yeah. around each RV as they're working, like stuff falls on the ground. So, right. And it won't be bleeding his paw, huh? Uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> good morning, everyone. We are back over at the Alliance headquarters today, and today is Thursday, so they started the build Monday morning. That's when we got here for the first time, and so today is the day that they're trying to finish everything up. So hopefully. At some point today, either this morning or by end of business day, we will have a finished RV. So um, it was a little bit of a rush for them to get it done in time because they're not doing uh, five day work weeks right now. They're only doing four day work weeks. We saw a unit like on the outside when we were coming in that it was a 382 RK for, sure. for sure. And so we were like, maybe that's ours and it's already done sitting out there. So we're gonna go in, see if it's in there and um, just figure out what the status of it is. That's ours. That one's ours, yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at all that pushing. It's a heavy boy. I need a big boy. Right. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> Okay, we might be able to go check it out if you want. Yeah. This is looking almost done, guys. It really is. This is so the cool. The graphics look good. Uh, here, here, here down the road, you'll see exactly where it's at. I'm going to go look at the couch. That's crazy. Is that from the slide, I guess? No, I think they, when they were... So they actually had a couch in here last night. Uh, so when I talked to Matt, he forgot to put the recept in. I said, hey, man, you put the wrong one in. So they swapped out that stuff. I don't know if somebody drugged the back of that or what happened. But Somebody say they gotta fix it tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll be ready. Because nope. they gotta take everything out. Okay. That sucks, but. Yeah. They gotta put their fix in it right, basically. Yeah, they're fixing it right. So basically, what happened, guys, there's a little part of the floor we got torn. Yeah, there's a small tear in the floor, yeah, so a lot of stuff has to come out because they will completely like replace the flooring there. Downward. Okay, so. A little bit of an awkward moment just happened in there. So basically, as we kind of explained, the floor got torn. We thought initially it was from them putting in the slides or something, but it turns out it was actually the couch. So the only thing that we special, like really special requested that they don't usually do is usually there's two trifolds and a theater seat. And I really wanted two theater seats because we just don't have a need for, for two uh, trifold sofas. And I'd rather have the recliners. Well, apparently what happened was the trifold was put in and then I guess they realized, oh, they requested the theater seat. So they had to move the trifold out. One of the workers decided to pull the trifold out himself and he really needed help so he could like lift it. And I think he like drug it a little bit. So it ended up tearing the flooring 
and we were like in the RV and his manager was not happy with oh, him. Oh, he was getting chewed out. Yeah, and we were right there. We were right, like, like okay. Okay. Time it's to okay. Leave. I mean, because, that is a pain in the butt fix, honestly. Because Yeah, it's a pain. So, and mm. like, I, I was asking Wells, like, how do they even fix that? It's a tear, because it's one piece for you. And they do, that's one of the first things they put down before they put anything over top of it. So that is a hard thing to fix when the, the floor gets torn like that. And they were explaining to Will that they have to now, uh, this is that. that really like delayed us getting the unit, which we're okay with, yeah. we're flexible, but it's more honestly for the workers and the, the team putting this together, you know, the mistake of one person can really affect the whole, you know, efficiency of the line and everything. Because now I guess tomorrow, I thought there was, they were on a four day work week. They must have some people here tomorrow because they said tomorrow they're going to be doing everything they have to do to fix the flooring, which is like removing the slide, yep. removing cabinets. Like it's a lot that they have to do now because he ripped the flooring. So I get why the manager was upset. So it is probably gonna delay us picking up our unit for a few days, which again, we're flexible with and everything. So yeah, we were just like in the middle of that. And it's like, oh, we're just uh, trying to leave. All right, but we were like it? stuck in the kitchen. And I'm like, you can't like leave There's now. no other door. So we're just like. <laughs> hey, pop the emergency exit out the back window. <laughs> right, like a oh, great turtle, so. <laughs> Um, our RV actually moved over to like the last spot in the process here. So, Free PDI. Yeah, so after this it goes, which we haven't showed where PDI is. Right, I don't but even it's, know. it's right there. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a PDI area on every plant. So that's the Paradigm PDI right there. They move it over there and check everything over, but. It's exciting. I know. So I don't know what this last step is, but um, probably just all those finishing touches. You yeah. Know. I re well, earlier they were fixing that paint and everything, so that's all done and cleaned up. Oh, you're right. We're doing that. So this this same warehouse or plant is where we've been the whole time. So it started out way way over there at the chassis, it moved all the way over where it is now, and I just want to um, show a little flashback at what this unit looked like just three like days three ago, days four ago. days ago, yeah. So we just got to the Alliance plant number two and they just rolled our chassis in. This is it right here. As you can see right now, it's actually upside down and they're working on getting the axles, tires, brake, all that put on. So I don't even know what to say. I'm just so excited and like just right. in shock too. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we made the decision to come up here yeah. and record the whole process. It's a different experience because you can see them making them, but when it's yours and you're following it along yep. the process and seeing it get further and further along, right. more and more stuff added every day. It's just, it's so surreal to know, like this is going to be our home, especially when you're right. full time. That's in what it. I was going to say. Like, like, it's just like watching your home seeing, get built. Yeah, seeing like, oh, this is where we're going to hang yeah. out. This is where we're going to have dinners. Yeah, it's so cool. Good morning everyone. It is Friday, the last day that we were here at Alliance and we are currently checking out of our hotel um, and we're going to head over to the headquarters just to see where the unit is at and kind of finish everything up. So we're hoping that by the time we get over there this morning that the floor issue will be done and that the unit will be in PDI, so like that final quality check basically. So that's the plan but we're going to get over there and see what's going on. We are supposed to be going over to work a uh, show, an RV show in Michigan with Matt. That's where he's at right now. But our thought is if the dealership lets us pick it up on Monday, then we can go over and work the show this weekend and then pick our unit up on Monday. So that's the tentative plan. It's actually snowing right now in Elkhart this morning. So I'm just walking Tucker and Tucker's actually going to go with us to Alliance today. Aren't you Tucker? Tucker, you making a pee pee? How have you liked your new truck so far, Will? Huh? How have you liked your new truck so far? I love it. It's, yeah. It's the best freaking truck I love their last truck, but now that we're in this one, I feel a little bougie. Right. It's got like a lot of nice features. Yeah. And it's very comfortable inside. Right. So. Mommy bought me a good truck. <laughs> and we did have to tow the avenue with this right after we got the truck, and it tows oh, like a dream. <laughs> Well, they're hustling to get everything done. They did get all the linoleum swapped out. They just got it all the way up to the edge, right underneath everything. So they did a really, really good job swapping that. Now they're, they're kind just, of just putting it all back together. Yeah, everything the they had back. to take out. Yeah, yeah, they had to take a lot out, you know, to get the linoleum yeah. underneath. So they're getting that put back together. 
and then they'll probably finish out the PDI. Yep. We'll be General's here. already coordinated. They're sending a hotshot delivery driver down, pick it up. And today? I think today, yeah. Nice. Get it over to the general store Yay. for our pickup. Mm, I'm so excited. We didn't film a lot in there because they're like actively like working yeah, we in there and I don't want to get in their way. But um, they're always they're, like, I always feel so in their way. I and they're just so nice. Like, they're like, they're like, like, oh, here, let's put yeah, the ladder. We're like, sure not be in your way. Right. So, so yeah, they're, everyone's super sweet here. But yeah. we're going to let them keep on going and we're going to head over to corporate with Tuck Tuck. Cool. And um, we got to film some other stuff. Film a couple other things. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys, that wraps up the build of our brand new Alliance Paradigm 382 RK. I think this was super fun, Will, to like actually really be here was. at the Alliance headquarters and watch the build from start to finish, all the way from chassis until the finished RV with all the cabinets and right. interior and flooring and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see that kind of process because normally most uh, RV buyers don't get to see their RV right. being built and it's pretty cool to watch that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our future videos of us full timing in our new fifth wheel. Yeah guys, and if speaking of our new fifth wheel, if you haven't seen it already, make sure to click on the link at the end of the video. Check out our full tour of our brand new Alliance Paradigm. Yeah, we do like more in depth going through the whole unit and also show our new truck and everything. So yeah. make sure to check that video out next. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye see guys. Ya.